We are back. We are back. Recurve men's bronze medal match. Dan Ularu, famously 8th place, 2012 Olympics. Cedric Rieger, the German archer, very successful indoors. It should be a fun one. It's always fun watching some recurve. Yeah. Some set system play. You kind of want it to be uh, be volatile, too. We'll see what we get out of this. See how that first arrow lines. That's a big thing. Yeah, good start. Smoked it. Danilaru of Moldova. A little low there for a 10 still. And he's uh, he's shooting larger diameter, 23 size arrows, max diameter. Yeah, a little different. So for those wondering, the max diameter of the arrows, as allowed by the rules, is 9.3 millimeters. For those of you who use a measurement system that has been to the moon, that would be about 23 64 of an inch. So we call them 23s. In the biz. In the biz. But right off the bat, 10 10 10 for Cedric. Very nice start. And Dan matches it. 10 10 10. 10. Like I said, I'm looking for a barn burner here. Yeah, and they both come out of the gate throwing fire. Yes, absolutely. The barn is lit. <laughs> Definitely a good confidence starter coming out, shooting 30s out of the gate, and your partner, the guy shooting against you is 30, it's like, ah, oh, I gave it all I got, and I just didn't gain any. He didn't give me anything yeah. back. Yeah. You got to kind of reset and be like, ah, this just went from a from a few sets to. We might be going the distance. Yeah. Yeah. We just eliminated two set points. And go back to the original starting order where they're tied. Can they keep it up? Cedric going to start off again. Good shot. Rips all at 10. Real smooth, smooth yeah, yeah, really real nice smooth. quick shot. You gotta love those when you get the aim on and the execution happens almost automatically and it just always works out. Nothing feels better. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't hurt your confidence. Cedric's shooting some good arrows. Looks like most yeah. of him would be close to compound yeah. 10 as well. And doing the same. You hear the crowd getting a little exciting with all 10 so far. Yep. There's one half shaft on the top of the 10 for Cedric. Nevertheless, going to score his another 30. Uh, first to blink. First to blink. And it just, I mean, so that'll give Cedric a little bit of a, yep. an edge mm -hmm. with that two set points. That's a big edge, though. Big edge to yeah. start. Especially when they both been shooting 10s and feeling right. good, right? right. Yep. Yeah. Every little bit will make a difference. Yeah, we're at 60-59, uh, an overall score, and not that that matters one bit, but, you know, if that trend continues and you have, a, you know, a, a bad end, you shoot a 27, you're, you're not falling behind very far. No. On the set system. No, it's a, it'll be a tight race. And they're, like I said, they're both. Even, even his nine wasn't that far out. It was a good, good shot. Not what you wanted, but... You're going to take it, though. Yeah. All right. And here we are. Dan Alaru is going to start this set number three off. Cedric Rieger with a 3-1 advantage. Dan's first arrow. Let's see what happens. And that happened. <laughs> it's a good start to put the pressure on. Down with the And we'll ten. see how it changes with the... Well, the guy's alternating to a different order now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 
tough to tell. From yeah, there. they're saying maybe a 10. The the shadow really kind of threw me off a little bit. Now calling that one nine liner, but it looks pretty good to me. Yeah. But a little change up in the order can change a lot of things. Yep. Good comeback up for the first one. Which could still be a 10, but right. you know it's not as good a shot as you wanted. Yeah, we've got some maneuvering to do with the judge down there to find out what we're really working yeah. with for they've Cedric. Been, they've been put to work today a lot. Yeah, Cedric needs to put this one in. Uh, again, the judge. Yeah. Poor guys today. They're getting their work out. That one looks like uh, I'm going to call it nine star to the minus. It looks a little further out than the first one. They're definitely earning their paychecks yep. today. That's been the same same judge. Well, this looks like maybe the same a one. Judge. I can't tell. Yeah. But uh, it's good to have consistency in it. Nevertheless. 100%. Yep. I think we do have a different judge here than what, what we saw. I don't yeah. remember the match it was, but there was the one that had a, a fair number of arrow calls. Maybe that yeah. was Stefan and Martin. Yeah. But they're definitely getting their work out today. Yeah. No matter who's down there, they've been yeah. calling some arrows. They've been calling arrows. Uh, got one they're not sure about. They want to, uh, they don't, I'm sure they agree with the judge, but they're, but the judge's decision yeah. is final. Yeah. You can not agree, <laughs> but you're uh, going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> So and it all turns out for 30 30. Yeah. To split the set. They were all catching them. Pretty impressive. Yeah. So now we're in a situation here where a tie does not end it, but a Cedric set win yeah. does finish the match at 6-2. to two. Yeah. Uh, so Dan needs to force a tie at minimum or obviously win the set. He needs to win a set here pretty quick. Yeah, he needs to win this one. one. I'd love to see a shoot-off here. Yeah. We haven't had a shoot-off yet today. Oh, well, again, it's yeah. just going to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, down on the floor, they're calling nine asterisk, and our spotter here calling it a nine. That's solid. They may have different spotters, different angles, hard to say. Yeah. And Cedric right in the middle. This yeah. is uh, not something you see a whole lot. Dan with the letdown. He's got nine seconds on the clock. Seven. Resets six. himself. And you can see your clock ticking there. Going red. Ten. Good comeback. <laughs> Way <Wait> up. <laughs> oh, that's tough to do. But some recurvers like that pressure of the clock. Yeah. Clock forces come through there quicker a little bit sometimes. Right. And he really needs this one. You know, I mean, without a 10 here, he's, yeah. even he's got to hope for that other one and hope that. That's a 9. Uh, We're probably. Could, yeah. Cedric with a, with a 10 will win this match. It is. So, yeah. well, Cedric, your bronze medalist. Pending Dan's first arrow. It still doesn't matter because he has a 30 to a 20. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, with yeah, that 9 over. that Dan shot on his last one. Yep, it's awesome. For some reason, I was thinking Cedric was at 29. Yeah, no. Yeah, that is the match then. No, Cedric shot a 30, a good finish. Cedric was solid the whole yeah. time. Dan yeah. looked really smooth at times, but just gave up a few too yeah. many. And, and you, you could see it when he had to let up. You know when right. you're letting up. Things just aren't flowing as easy as you'd like. Yeah. It just doesn't have that. Yeah, there's something off there. Yeah. Either little nerves or yeah. whatever. So congrats, Cedric Rieger from Germany. Your bronze medalist here at Neem 2020 in the men's recurve category. Yeah. So next up, the big one. But two he, Americans. With that 30, that gave him the extra two set points to win that match. That's kind of how that works. I mean... It's a little different scoring system than we saw in the compound just a minute ago. Just kind of give right. you a refresher. Uh, he ends up winning 6-2. The arrow totals are a little different, but that's how that system's yeah, played it's, out. It's played off the set system. Yeah. So. So. 